Hey guys, I'm going to teach you all how to do Jacob's Ladder from that Cat's Cradle thing that your parents probably learned when they were little. Okay, so I'm going to do Jacob's Ladder. First of all, you're going to start out with the string on both your thumbs like this. And then you're going to hook your pinkies basically to, well, under the strings that are farthest from you. So it should look like this where the string is across, across your hand. So take your take your forefinger of your right hand, put it under the string of your left hand, and then vice versa. So it should look kind of like this. So then after that, you're going to drop the loops from your thumbs, not dropping any other loops. So it should look like an X, basically. Now you are going to um, put both your thumbs under the string farthest from you. Sorry, this is a little tangled. It might not show up very good. But don't hook any other strings onto your thumbs. You should only end up with one string on your thumb, so it should look kind of like this, if you do it right anyways. So, after that, you're going to put both your thumbs over the string, over the string that's right in front of your thumbs, and then put it under the next one. Then you should have two loops on your thumbs. And you shouldn't have dropped any loops yet. Well, except the one I told you to drop at the beginning. So now, now that you have two loops on your thumbs, you're going to drop the loops from your pinkies. So it should look basically like this. Now, you're going to put your pinkies over the string you just dropped and under the one next to it. Now it should look like this. Now you're going to drop the loops from your thumbs. Now you have cat's whiskers. Then you'll put your thumbs over the first two whiskers and under the third one. Now it should be like this. And then Using your hand, using your other hand, you're going to put the string from your forefinger over to your thumb. So with both hands. And try not to drop any strings. So it should basically look like this. Now, again, I'm going to take the bottom string from your thumb, which is this one, take it off with both hands. Now it should look like this. It forms two triangles right here, which you are now going to use for the last step. You're going to put your four fingers into those triangles that are right by your thumbs right here. I'm trying not to confuse you here. So put it like that. And then at the same time, take your thumbs away from the loops that they're holding and then flip the string over. It should look basically like this. So... Now, if you also, also if you have trouble, like, taking it apart, you always take it apart from the middle, and it should usually work like this.